Oklahoma's largest teacher union says schools will shut down if a pay raise for teachers is not approved by April 23rd. Dave Morris here on this Tuesday evening here in the Oklahoma's video studio, joined by the Oklahoma's Ben Felder, who's been following this story. Ben, what's going on here and who does it include? Yeah, so we've been hearing a lot of talk about a potential teacher strike, especially over the last couple of weeks, and it's really been teacher driven. There's been a lot of grassroots efforts on social media. A lot of teachers have been asking for a strike either this month or early next month. And today, the Oklahoma Education Association announced that they're going to set an April 23rd deadline to say that if a pay raise for teachers and school staff has not been approved, along with an increase in funding, the school are going to close. A lot to talk about here. Why that deadline? Well, um, there are some teachers that kind of an ins uh, uh, instantly reacted and said, hey, that's not soon enough. I, I just spoke with uh, David Duvall, executive director of the OEA, and he said that that's the deadline for all bills to get out of the house. So they're going to present a plan on Thursday that includes a pay raise, an increase in funding. They're also going to include a plan to raise the revenue for it. They say they want to give the legislature plenty of time, that they got to be really organized and strategic. Although he did mention that if a bill is is crafted and is brought to the floor for a vote and it's defeated before that deadline, that they may go ahead and mobilize even quicker. Speaking of deadline, you talked about the grassroots movement we had heard about, but this story drops on a Tuesday evening. Interesting timing. Who all have you had a chance to talk with and what are you hearing so far? Yeah, well, the interesting part about it was it was a Facebook post at about 5 o'clock. And so uh, my initial reaction is one, to vet it, to make sure that this is accurate. Um, you know, and understandably, well, not understandably when you make an announcement like that, but understandably on a normal Tuesday, there's not many people picking up the phone after 5 p.m. Um, so it took a little while. I was able to pretty quickly confirm with, with some people in the OEA who weren't authorized to speak officially that, it, yes, it was an authentic post. Um, and so we got that news out there. Um, but, you know, speaking with some people when I finally was able to, it sounds like there was a little confusion about posting that uh, message. Um, somebody told me that, uh, you know, there were some in the office who thought that, uh, you know, hey, we, we, maybe we jumped a gun a little bit in announcing that. Uh, you know, maybe we should have more information. But it's out there. I don't I didn't get the impression that it was one of those things where the OEA leadership was regretting it. And I think they may have just wanted to provide a little bit more information. I'm not really sure. But, um, but yeah, that's the deadline that's set. And I did speak with David Duvall, who, interestingly enough, was in the room in 1990. Um, the last time that uh, a, t a strike for teachers in Oklahoma was uh, decided. All right, so what might happen next? You mentioned that there's a press conference, I believe, still yep. scheduled for Thursday afternoon. Uh, that's among the things that might happen next. Yeah, so the OEA says that they're going to make their, their recommendation, their proposal on uh, a pay raise for teachers, at least a $10,000 raise. Um, and that's a pretty high hurdle. It's a higher than we've seen some proposals um, that have seemed to get a little bit of traction, even though they haven't really got very far. So they're going to propose a $10,000 pay raise. They say they're okay with it being funded over the course of three years, knowing that the all 10000 may not be able to come in this year's budget. But they want it to be put in place for teachers and support staff. They also want an increase in funding. They say that, you know, we need to be able to pay for resources and textbooks and technologies and all those resources that teachers need. They're also going to include their own proposal on how to uh, raise the revenue. A lot of people who pay attention to politics are probably well aware that the threshold for getting a tax increase out of the legislature is very high, the highest in the nation. It takes three-fourths of a vote. It's also interesting to note that that three-fourths threshold was put in place following the teacher strike of 1990. It was kind of, for some, kind of a backlash to that. Um, we have seen votes taken in the Senate and in the House in recent months that in any other state would have approved a tax increase, um, but not here in Oklahoma. So a lot of people have been paying attention to what's happening in West Virginia, but it's a lot more complicated here. It's a lot, of, it's a lot higher of a bar. I think for the OEA, I don't want to say that they were reluctant to call a strike, but I think one of the things that they really wanted is um, we have to have a defined win. We have to have something that we're pushing the legislature to do, not just increase funding and pay. We have to have a bill that we're actually pushing them to do. Um, I think what we saw in the last couple of weeks is a lot of teachers you know, they, they're, you know, they're not union leaders. They're not, you know, they're not organizing, you know, work stoppages for a living. And, um, you know, they're saying, hey, we just need to go to the Capitol. And, and, you know, and not to say that one strategy is better than the other, but the OEA is saying, hey, we want to be a little bit more strategic than that, but they're going to put out their strategy on Thursday. And who knows what the legislature will do, if they'll, if they'll pick that up, if a committee will hear it, if they'll get out of committee, if they'll go to the House. It'll go through the Senate. I mean, there's a lot of hurdles to go through, but what we'll hear on Thursday is a plan from the OEA, um, and then we'll have to wait and see what the legislature's uh, response is. All right, as you mentioned, that last teacher strike in Oklahoma back in 1990 uh, shut down schools for four days. We'll see what develops out of this. Yeah, just kind of a repeat of that, and uh, 28 years later, here we are, a lot of the same issues.
He's been fellow with the Oklahoman. Ongoing coverage from him, Tim Willard, to cast of thousands now that involves the Capitol Bureau. Yeah. Can be found online at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman. Ben, thanks for your time. Yeah, you bet.